Hello DJ Sam here for another video today I want to show you my speakers I bought for 50 quid they are the Wharfdale and they're the SVP X15 so yeah let's get to it so here they are I paid £50 for them that's the specs on them the only problem is this one on the top here the horn or the, what you call the diaphragm is blown now my dad said when I first showed him he says Oh, they sound a bit dull, and I thought, I didn't think anything of it. Until I got them working side by side, because I got the proper cables, I then realised, crap, the the, uh, the tweet has blown. So it's going to cost me 25 quid to get that replaced. But these are about 230 quid brand new, so I'm not really going to complain. I'd still have to play, pay a lot more, and I realised this one at the bottom here has also got a crack, but it's not actually. You can still grip onto it. Um, here's the back of them and yeah they run this um, speak on connection which is you pull that um, see I'm not very familiar with speak on so you pull that it's falling out of the bag <laughs> like that so yeah it's a bit tricky but I don't want to keep pulling it in and out so I'm just going to leave it like that for now um, so yeah let's grab the things that we're going to need to power these up um, I'm going to use the PPX300 now supposedly it's a 300 amplifier what amplifier but uh, according to one of the youtubers who commented said that these weren't regulated so I think what that means is when it said it was 300 watts it wasn't actually accurate so it's actually more than 300 watts because these can actually peak out the speakers <laughs> And so can the PPX900. So I'm assuming that it's about a, a bit more wattage than what it says. So what we're going to need is we're going to need these cables here, which are jack to um, the small phono. And um, that's for the phone. And then we're going to also need the mixer. I've ordered a new mix. Well, a used mixer which needs some work on it. It is a Behringer, and it's a big one, so it's going to be for like, well, it's mainly for records, players and stuff, but I thought I'll keep this one for my RCFs. I'll have a separate one for that one, so. And then we need the power cable for the, the unit, so. So, yeah, I'll set you up, and then uh, I'll show you how it's, we'll just basically set up. So let's get set up. I'm going to have to move that mixer closer to this because the power cable's here. So I'm just going to finish off my cup of raw thilly. Mm. It's actually Yorkshire tea because I like me Yorkshire. Right, so I also got these which are awesome. Now, this is um, <laughs> a little trick. You get a jack. To XLR because the reason being is the cables I got were a lot cheaper. They were the thirteen ninety nine. Speak on to Jack. That was the cheapest. Neither of these amps run Jack, which is great. So what I've done because you pay like twenty five quid each for the cables, so it's like fifty quid. So you can get a little hack, and these are great. Plug that in there, like that. What does that do? Convert it to XLR. And because they're quite stiff, it's not gonna like it's not gonna go like that at the back of the amp. So that is really awesome. And it's a little hack there, I love it. And um, I've actually got a PV speaker. I put one up on the um on the top of the cupboard, the shelf. <coughs> Excuse me, so I use that as well. I'm gonna grab some more of that so I can actually jack because I've got jack to jack. Jack it XLR and then use an XLR st extension to bring it over here. So let's put the mixer there. Okay. So the mixer, you've got your main outputs, all these different outputs. This is what we're going to use. Plug it in. 
I know it's very self-explanatory, but I just want to, for those who can't really understand very well, it's, you know, it's more easier for to explain it. So what you're going to use, you're going to use your main outputs. Okay, so because you're plugging it in there, your main outputs will go in there and into this unit in here. Um, and then this bit will go into your channels. So these are all your your different channels. I use this one, channel seven and eight. Look at there. It doesn't really matter which way you put them in. It's like red and black. I don't really bother about which way I put it in. I don't think it really matters. I'm not. I'm not, not really sure, but yeah. And then we'll plug in the XLR. I'm going to use. I'm going to use some good XLRs. So this is Noble, this is what you call Noble cable and it's really good. The only problem I'd complain about is it's quite hard to pull it out. Once you get it, you know, clipped in, it doesn't come out very easily. So you've got to yank on it or twist it, pull it out. Because like when you see, you've got to wiggle it out and it's not that, not ideal. But, oh well. So that one is the left. So it'll be this side, and it will be on the uh, input balance line input. You just want to plug it right into there. I'll show you the back as well. There. It doesn't really make a click noise on that one, so you just got to push it in until it makes a kind of feels tightly. Do it on the right side. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, wiggle that through. And plug that on the right side. Here. On there you'll hear a click. So we've got that set up now. You can see why I not want another mixer, because I don't want to keep pulling this on out every time to use it. So if I had another mixer, I can just leave it set up here. Uh, it'll be ready to go when I need to make a video. Because um, I'm sick to death of like unpacking and setting up. And I want a permanent setup in here. So I don't have to mess around all the time. Okay, so we're going to plug that in. And do the spare. Oh, it's just one more socket. Handy. Now I can switch that on. But what I've done is... Yeah, this work. I thought I'd switch it off by the name. Okay. So now all you need to do now, all I need to do, sorry, is to plug the speakers in. Okay, this is the back of the unit. So you've got your input there, your audio left and right, left, right. And then you've got your output B and you've got your output A. And then this is where it's going to get a little bit complicated because I've got to figure out which one's which. Um, right, so we've got uh, the bottom one is this one. I believe it's this one. That's the, I don't really matter really. I'll put the bottom one as B. Okay, because B. And then we'll use that one. So you just plug them in like that. And what I love about these adapters is they're not sort of I thought they would like sag down a bit or pull on the wire, but actually because they're quite, you know, quite um, a bit stiff, it's actually not that bad. What I was going to originally do was get some more XLR, uh, these XLRs to be honest, because I didn't realise I'd need extra XLRs to do it, but I realised that'll work fine, so, so yeah, so you plug it into there. Okay, let's um, get it all switched on. Let's put this back into position. I don't want to scratch my... I've already scratched the sub anyways. The, the metal piece is on the corner, so it doesn't really matter. It's just, I don't use them that much anyways. What I'm thinking of doing is, is putting the subs on the far corner of this uh, shed and actually setting up these, um, these gravity stands. So I'll show you them, um, the poles actually. These gravity poles and actually stick on the the wharf deal for my birthday, but I'm, I'm it's the 29th of June, so I'll definitely post a video of that if the boys are want to be in video. It'll be a video of me having fun 
Oh, my birthday. So. So you switch this on. The clip lights light up. Now you only want to put it onto the halfway up the mark, really. Because that will do just nicely there. Because you don't really want to turn it up too loud. Because then you'll distort um, and stuff like that. And it'll show the clip. So, yeah. So, now we've got everything set up. And I've got my lead here. Um, I'm going to plug that into my phone. Now, what I don't like about it is you can't really plug your phone in. So I've got to remove the case. I'm setting up a laptop in here at some point with all my tunes on. But I think a phone is more like easier because you just plug it in and off you go. So let me just grab... The, well, let's just get on the internet. And let's load something up that's not copyrighted. Ten minutes later. I got... I say... Oh, in a really odd place. Yeah, it's not that great. Um... Un. Oh, it's, I'm just going to say it, I can't be bothered. Uncopyrighted music. There we go. The best ones are the N, is it, uh, yeah, NCS. Okay, 20 hours ago, let's see if this is okay. Just turn me phone up, because that's what the to this. Right one's not too short. For some reason we're getting both channels out of the same one. For some reason, I don't know why that is. getting left and right on the same one so I had some technical difficulties it was because it was a hair off the uh, adapter so you've just got to be careful that because it's a bit loose they're not it plugs in but if it's a hair off it won't come out the sound so make sure that so what we're going to do now is we're going to play unknown brain and it's Heather Soimer I think you pronounce it perfect pen it's an NCS so yeah let's get going so What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Ooh, ooh. Can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia I'm telling I'm just so fed up with these expectations They can weigh me down My heart is begging me to get the hell out of my head
So you can tell that sounds pretty good for, you know, some like 400 watt speakers that can go 800 watt peak. That is pretty good. Um, it didn't even peak out there. That was pretty loud. Um, but yeah, you notice a huge difference when the tweeter is not there. It, uh, yeah, you just don't realise how important a tweeter is to your music because it really gives it that clarity. It just sounds quite dull and musky. But when the tweeter's there, it gives it that extra like essence that you need. So I don't know if I've shown you, but there's are the specs. So it's 800 watt peak. And uh, yeah, let's get a close up of the mixer. It's PPX 300, but it wasn't regulated then, so it was a lot louder. So yeah, let's um, pick a different one. I quite like that unknown brand. Let's try this one. See, with the R one. You can tell a lot of lovely um, sort of sound. See what I mean? Without the tweeter, it doesn't sound like a word. I put my thumbs there and knocked it off. <clears throat> Back on the internet, we'll try Lost Skies. You know it's a huge difference, don't you? The tweeter makes a huge difference. Turn this up, you'll see the peak go. Maybe not then. For some reason, that's not clipping. It was before. Didn't even sound like it was going to blow either. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it could handle more power than I actually thought. Maybe it's hmm, strange. Maybe because I had that all the way last time. Sounds a bit meh. Turn that down. Yeah, it was clipping there then. <laughs> yeah, I saw it clip just, you can't see it on camera because I think it's flashing on it. But yeah, that was clipping just a tad there. <laughs> it's when you have this channel turned all the way up is when it starts to clip. So you need to put it around there. So yeah. But I'm only going to put these halfway up, so I don't want to blow my speakers. That's why I'm getting another mixer, and then I can mark on like that where it's put the um, the volume up. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm happy with these. They're ideal for like um, venues and that, small venues. But like RTFs and that, you know, they're about the same. So pretty cool. I'm happy with these. Sorry I forgot to make an end, it's late at night now, so I was doing some editing and I thought I would end this video here, but before I end it I want to say a couple of things. This is the camera that we used, I used, to film the mixer. It is a Canon PowerShot SX230SH Full HD, really good. This is the one I'm going to start using uh, for the other channels, but for well, my DJ channel I'll stick with the iPhone 6. Secondly, um, 
I've actually created another video of just a song being played on the Wharfdale so you'll get to see that as well just as the whole Wharfdale if you'd like to see that and the third one I bought a mixer okay it's a cheap mixer 45 quid it's a Behringer it's a DJX 700 now the guy who sold it had said that it's not working I said well what did he do to try and get it working he just said I plugged it in and it wouldn't work so in my little head I thought well we've got stuff given to us before like me and David and mostly the fuse is blown so I thought oh there's a fuse at the back maybe the fuse is blown so I was very confident it was the fuse so what I've done I'm going to pick a fuse up tomorrow and when the mixer arrives there'll be another video coming up next week of me playing around with a mixer and hopefully it works my friend who is a DJ said he had one and he accidentally spilt water in it and his broke and his didn't rust so he said it could be water damaged so I'm like oh please don't say that but the guy who was selling all the stuff he uh, does like house clearances so yeah let's cross fingers it works but anyways I'm going to end this video here cheers fortune and see you guys very very soon cheers bye bye